how's it going everyone that's rejects back here with another episode of undertale with me dave grawl last time we entered the town of snowed in so let's explore by going into the shop and oh there's a rabbit hello traveler how can i help you what have you got a tough glove a manly bandana not just any bandana Bi 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 bicycle? I was gonna say bicycle. I don't fucking know what that is. No cinnamon bun. No, let's get get out of here. <clears throat> Bye now. Come again sometime. Yes, okay. And in the inn. There's another rabbit. Welcome to Snowed Inn. Ha ha ha. Snowed Inn's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. No. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Why would I need to stay in that? What's this thing? Mum says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Okay. So I can get, like, super health. What did I just do? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back, because I want to actually explore this place. What's this say? Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. There are efficiently laid out. Okay, what do you want? That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. What, this one? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Okay, that's great. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Was that that deer thing that I fought in the last episode? What are you? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Okay. There's bears. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. <laughs> okay. I'll sing grill bees. Um, what the f fuck is that? Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Okay, is that bartender literally fire? Okay, hey look, it's those people. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. And it's... is that doggo? I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Okay. And what, is this just a head on a table? Oh, Jesus. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and hot guys, okay. And it's this guy. What was that? Okay, what are you? Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Okay, what are you? I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I am taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Oh, okay. What are you doing? It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> There's this guy in the corner. The capsule's getting pretty crowded. So I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the... Er Erizal? I've never seen that word before. Of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip in... slip onto their butts. Sorry, I can't read. The jukebox is broken. Well, that's shit. And what's the fire guy? Dot 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 dot. Grillbees said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. <laughs> ha ha ha. Okay, let's get out of here. This person with a scarf. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. And what the fuck are you? 
We all know the underground has problems, but we smile away. Why? We can't do anything, so why be mortal about it? I guess that's, that's true. Let's see what's over here. Is this the other side of town? Is that library? Welcome to the library! Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. I, I didn't see that. It's fucking Mike Wazowski. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Um, I don't know. I'd love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. That's awesome. Cough, cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground, that's good for you. Monster History Part 4, fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland and searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. That's great. Oh yeah, the sign is misspelled. Oh, Jesus. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Is this Sans's house? Oh, that, that, look at that. Mailbox label papyrus. Look inside. No. You realise that would probably be illegal. Yes. And what's this? It's locked from the inside. What's down here? The music stopped. I'm okay. <laughs> Uh, let's go here. It's locked. Oh, okay. Wasn't there like a pathway back here that went up? Let's have a look. Yes, there was. Let's look up here. What's over here? There's a rock with a moustache. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Okay. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? What? Let's play Monsters and Humans. No, let's not. Wait, can I get in this house? Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Oh, fuck you. Wait, let's try again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah, uh, screw you. <laughs> What's going on over here? Oh, there's a big wolf. Oh, that's where those things are coming from. <laughs> There's literally a guy just lobbing them in the sea. That's great. Oh. Is that my phone? Hello, can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. What? We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the... Wrong number, the wrong number song. A very, very song, we got it wrong. Click. What the hell? Um. Okay then. That was something, I guess. Jeez. Why make it a song? I, I don't fucking know. I'm gonna go the creepy way where there's no music. Um. What's that? Do I want to go this way? Um, those sort of look like even... Is that Papyrus? Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No, no. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Is he gonna- Oh shit, this is a Papyrus fight. 
Hey, dude. I'm liking the music. Um. Insult. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Wow, what an attack. <laughs> Papyrus is rattling his bones. Flirt. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. W well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you! Wait, what? <laughs> these, these attacks, whoa. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Um, again. Oh no. Let's do this after I capture you, alright, okay. I don't, I don't get what to do. Papyrus is thinking about what to go for his date. Um, no need to lie to yourself. Your barbs hide no hidden affection. You emotional cactus. Your attacks are shit. <laughs> Pyrus depths and bone cologne behind his ear. No more. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Let's day later. I'm not fighting. Um. Let's let's tried stuff again. There's no avail. Acting won't escalate the battle. Okay. So, just bones again. That's great. Just try and spare him. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Well then, you just, you just stay still. That was easy. Oh! You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> oh, okay, so... What? <laughs> You're blue now, and the music got cooler. So again, Pirates is too busy fighting to flirt back. <laughs> Let's date later! Okay. Oh, so now we've got to jump over them. Whoa! Papyrus dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. What is he doing? I'm not fighting. Um, check him. He likes to say, yeah, yes he does. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Oh shit, no. Oh, I've screwed this up royally. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Attraction slime, that's great. Shit, I don't know what to do. Oh, uh, yeah, Pyrus is too busy, okay. Oh, God. The concentration. Pyrus stabs beauty or go behind his ears. Okay, that's great. Too busy fighting. Yeah. Don't make me use my special attack. Oh, he has a special attack. Oh god. No. No. <laughs> Pyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> That's great. Pyrus is too busy fighting. I can almost taste my future popularity. No. I don't want to die. Oh. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool, that's great. Too busy fighting. Head of the Royal Guards, you're not head of any- Oh shit, no. You're too weak, I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone, or as Sans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now, and you- <laughs> Wait, what happened? Um... Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Yeah, fully yours, Papyrus. 
Okay, that was easy to get out of. Are we going to have to fight him again? Probably. Yep, here, here we go again. Oh! Where could that human have gone? Wait, it's right in front of me! Hello, I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know that you're right here. Wait a second, you're not supposed to escape. Get back there! No, I'm escaping. Yeah, let, let's do... Oh, right. We're, we're straight back to the fight, are we? Okay, then. Whoa, jumping. I just thinking about what's worth for a day, that's great. Yep, too busy fighting. Oh, come on! Fuck. What? When did this turn into Flappy Bird? Back again, eh? I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you would want to see me in the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand. Papyrus is hungry too. Hungry for justice. Can we just get this over with? Papyrus is thinking about one. Oh, you bastard. Oh, of course. Oh, I have an option this time. Okay. I guess I'll accept my failure. Okay, there we go. Yo ho ho. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee, we haven't even had our first date yet. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier of soul power. 
and us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the King's Castle. The King of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So I just had to lose a ton? I, I don't know if I was supposed to do that. But let, let's go do that that thing. The, the date. Yeah. <laughs> So we fought him, and now we're going on a date. That makes complete sense. Wow, you're so eager to date me. You're trying to go into a <laughs> house without me. That's really weird. <laughs> hey, Papyrus. So, you came to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Oh, we're running. That, that looks quite funny, actually. Um, what? What are you doing? My house! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god, why is there fire under that door? I just thought I'd... This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Um, okay. What's this? That's a kitchen. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. That's a dog. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Take it that Sans is room. Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was pretty funny. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Why was I doing Papyrus's voice? Sans, pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down, move it! Okay. You moved it two inches, move it to your room! Okay. <laughs> and don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? <laughs> Forget it! <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Lovely. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program. <laughs> what? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. <laughs> book. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes! Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> okay, I take it that was a quantum physics joke. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. <laughs> uh, not yet. <laughs> Let's look over here. The door is locked, and there's just fire coming out. <laughs> Isn't that like a, a hazard of some sort? Like, seriously? A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones? Because you're a skeleton? Welcome to... Scenic... Scenic? Scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. That's my room. Yeah, okay, I finished looking around. <laughs> yeah. He, this is like the room of a five-year-old. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. <laughs> Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. <laughs> Computer. The internet, I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follow account. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Is, is that Sans, by, by any chance? 
That looks one of my favorites, Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. That next book's another one of my favorites, Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me, so he is literally a five-year-old. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yes, action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. He is a five-year-old in the bed as well. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Okay. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? <laughs> Hang on, there's a... Take your time, I'll wait for you. There's a door. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Um, yeah. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen everything, let's do it. Okay, dating start! <laughs> Wait, what? Dating start! Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this before! But don't worry! You can't smell prepared without several letters from my name! <laughs> I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library! We're ready to have a great time! Let's see... Step 1! Press the C key on the keyboard for your dating hub. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. <laughs> step two, ask them on a date. Um, human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second! Wear clothing? That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? <laughs> you wanted to date me from the very beginning. <laughs> Oh god, let's just say yes and see what... Did I just kill him? No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No, you're dating power! <laughs> what is going on? Yum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet? I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will! I can easily keep up with you, you see? I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear special clothes underneath my regular clothes just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I, I love it. No! <laughs> a genuine compliment. <laughs> what happens when my date power goes to full? <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret, but that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Um, I see, I see. You like caressing my... Pisces <laughs> with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Um... Let's look at the, the cool dude. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. <laughs> Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. Your face. My hat. My hat. My hat! <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open. Do you know what this is? Of course... Spaghetti! 
that's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an art artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. He's it. You take a small bite. Your face <laughs> reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Wait, went off the fucking bar, really? Went into his mouth, what the fuck? Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want to be happy. I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um... Boy, is it us in here? Is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. <laughs> Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this ne all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. <laughs> because I don't even have lips. Hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. <laughs> God, that went on forever. Oh, God damn it. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically, well, gotta go. Yeah. Was that it? Okay, now I'm just in his room. So he's he's literally a child. I want to try and get into Sans's room because because fire. No, oh, it's still locked. Gosh darn it. Okay, let's continue on the merry journey of Big Joe. That was funny and interesting to say the least. Wait, is it going to make me fight him again? No, it's not. Okay, good. I thought it was for a second then. There's a waterfall. Lots of waterfalls. Am I out of the snowy place now? Uh, what is this? Yo! You are sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here, haha. <laughs> Who's this? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Okay, I, I saw I saw that coming. <laughs> and Sans is here. I'll save here. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Of course it does. Well, I'm gonna end that episode there. This has been Charlie from Mass Rejects, and I'll see you in the next Undertale episode. Signing out.